Okay, this video is part two of the debug session within the Azure Data Factory data flow feature. Now that we've gone through how to enable the debug session and to set it up, uh, let's go through the detail of being able to prep your data within a derived column transform. So what I wanted to show you in deeper detail was in the derived column that we built in the debug session video previously, was this idea of having a clean title from the title of the movies. Let's go back into that expression. Let's start building that out. So let's have a look to see what is in that um, title um, column. I'm going to give myself a little bit more screen real estate here. And let's go ahead and look to see what is actually in that, um, in that field before we start to try to transform it. I want to take out anything that is in the parentheses. I see a couple of... Um, titles that have these parentheses in it toward the end. I want to clean that up. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the um, function. So if you look under the left hand side of the expression builder, you'll see all the different functions and they're categorized. So I'm going to look for within the string functions is a locate that will tell me where within a string a certain character is located or a string is located. So let's use locate. And uh, let's go ahead with um, uh, the first thing we want to give it is the substring. So we want to look for, uh, let's do space, and then um, the left paren. And then we'll say that we're looking for this within title. So before I go ahead and start building out the entire uh, substring or the entire transformation, I'm just going to do it um, step by step. This will tell me whether or not this is the accurate way that I want to put the substring that I'm looking for then I have it correct within the title. So this should give me the index that is found in each of the titles. And I want to also see, do this because I want to see what's going to come back to me if the title does not have um, the space print in it. So this looks right, that looks right, and these don't have it, so I'm getting zeros. So I'm going to have to account for that when I do my left. So since I know that at um, spot 14 within the index 14 within the um, within the string is where the space and the paren start. So now I can do a left on that. So if I do a left of title with that index, um, that will give me the number of characters that I want to clean out the uh, space paren and just leave me with the clean title. So we'll run this again and we'll check to see what we get back. So this is the iterative process of debug in order to uh, do data prep within Azure Data Factory. Um, what I'm going to see here is that I'm getting the good results. Those look good to me. Um, and uh, the problem is that I'm getting nothing back for the title strings that do not have the paren and the space in it. So let's put a if condition in there to account for that. And you'll find the if condition under all, or I think you might have under logical um, as well. Yeah, there it is. So there's the if condition. So I'm going to leave that up there so I can see the signature for that um, function. So I'll do if, and the first um, part of the um, function expression, the function, sorry, the function is the um, condition. So I want that, uh, what I want to do is I want to first, let me take all this out. Oops. Okay. And let's just look, let's put that locate in. So we want to check to see whether or not that locate of the space paren from the title is zero. So if it is zero, then let's return the initial, the original title. Okay. Now if, um, so then the else condition would be that if it uh, is not zero, so it's anything other than zero, that means it did have that pattern in it. And we do want to go ahead and um, do the left on it. So let me paste that back in there. We got the left. That looks right. Let's make sure we have the parens on the right place. We need to put one in there for the if. And you can see that it's highlighting that one left, so it should be good. Let's do a preview and make sure we got this right. So now what we should see is we should see um, all of the titles without the parens in it, and including the ones that didn't have parens. And that looks good, so we're good to go. So that's how you do data prep with debug in an iterative fashion within Azure Data Factory's data flow. Thanks for watching.